A very good day to everyone. Today on the third um, third series of the characteristics of a global leader, I want to talk about someone to whom I had the uh, blessing, the good privilege uh, to have managed in 2008 and 2009. His name is Dr. Rajanja Pachuri. Here's the fanatic translation. And what did, Pach what did Dr. Pachuri do? Well, in 2007, he and the former Vice President Al Gore won the Nobel Peace Prize, the most coveted accolade one can ever dream to achieve. Um, and what did I learn? from Dr. Rajanja Pachuri. And by the way, God bless his soul. He was taken back um, to the maker in February of 2020. Um, and when I first met him, it was in 2008. Uh, and, and here it is. Here it is with uh, Al Gore, Vice President Al Gore and uh, Alfred E. Nobel Peace Prize. Again, the most coveted prize or accolade one can um, imagine of attaining or winning. What did I learn from Dr. Pachuri? I learned from Dr. Pachuri that you need to le lead with determination. Precisely, a lifelong dedication. Now for Dr. Pachuri, um, he didn't just win this Nobel Peace Prize just because of something he did for a year or two, an invention maybe, or an act, but it was because his determination for more than 40 years of his life. If you take a look at our Wikipedia, as you can see, he joined the organization Terran back in 1982, if I'm not mistaken, 1982. Oh, not Terran, excuse me, Terry. The Energy and Resource Institute. It's located in India. Uh, and also he was chairman of uh, International Panel on Climate Change, IPCC, to which many global renown are there to talk about climate change. And so again, it wasn't just an overnight fluke. It was an aberration. It was a lifetime of determination. And it wasn't until 25 years later after he joined Terry that the prize was bestowed to him. And so again, it's it takes determination. It takes a lifetime of dedication in order to um, refine your craft, galvanize your craft, to be able to not just say, I want to influence India, but I want to share with the whole world that climate change is happening and it's affecting us all over the world. It is affecting our children. It's affecting the way we live. It is, it's affecting um, the way we travel is affecting the way that people are living in Asia, uh, in the US, uh, all over the world. We can see the icebergs, they are melting in, in, in the Antarctics and the water temperature, it's rising and the water level is rising. And not just to do the research and keep it to himself, but to say, look, I've done the data now, my work is done, but no, but to be able to present it to the world and let the world see that this is the truth and is happening. May I take a quote from uh, 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 Al Gore? It's an inconvenient truth. <laughs> it's happening, ladies and gentlemen, but it took a lifetime of dedication, determination, not to give up when there were adversaries bombarding him, decrying his work from left to right. He could have given up. He could have just said, well, I am hitting almost 70, 80. 
I want to take my retirement fund, my pension, and just zip pina coladas on the beach. But no, no, at the age of what? At the age of nearly 70 when I met him? Proud man. I mean, he took that prize. He took the Nobel Peace Prize with humbleness, um, with the lifelong dedication, the determination to which I saw through his eyes. It was un unparalleled, non parallel excuse me. It was uncanny. It was the determination that influenced many in the world to realize, hey, climate change is happening. All right, now, again, this is the photo with Al Gore, the former vice president of the United States. And this is with me. No presidency, <laughs> no accolades, no Nobel Peace Prize. That's plain on me. But I was just so blessed to have met Dr. Pachuri and, and was able to manage his Asia speaking career for two, two years. And I learned a lot from him. I did. I learned uh, about determination and a lifelong of dedication. Previously, I probably couldn't hold a job for more than three months or six months, the longest 10 year probably in a job for me uh, was seven months, I think. And so after I met Dr. Pichuri, he influenced me. And so for the last, I think, what, I don't know how many years now, I have made a determination to be the best I can be in teaching and to teach my students to be able to achieve not the highest score, but to be able to do to the best of their ability, to be able to get into the school of their choice or his or her choice, to, to say that if I don't give up on them, if I determine to help them to succeed, they will determine to help themselves to succeed. And I've been able to do that for the past 11 years, even with broken legs, or broken legs, excuse me, broken leg one, <laughs> uh, fever. Like I said, I may have only missed one day of work for the last 11 years. Yeah, because again, it's that determination not to help myself to succeed. I will never win a Nobel Peace Prize. I will never uh, make an impact in the world. You know, but my determination is this. If I can just make an impact on one student, one, I have succeeded already. So I'm going to end it here, ladies and gentlemen, um, students alike. I hope you have learned something. Determination is not just for a day, a month, a year, but for Dr. Pachuri, it was a lifetime, a lifetime, a commitment not to give up, not to give in. I hope you can all do the same with your career or with your studies. Be determined. Take care until the next series. Bye now.